Good morning. Today is Monday, August the 8th, and our lesson this morning is Reproach and Mercy. And our lesson is coming from Deuteronomy, the third chapter, the, 26th, the 22nd verse through the 29th. And the scripture lesson takes read, Ye shall not fear them, for the Lord your God shall, he shall fight for you. And I besought the Lord at that time, saying, O Lord God, Thou hast begun to shear thy servant, thy greatness, and thy might, mighty hand. For what God is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might. I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that godly mountain and Lebanon. But the Lord was wroth with me for your sakes and would not hear me. And the Lord said unto me, Let it suffice thee, speak no more unto me of this matter. Get thee up into the top of Pisgah, and lift up thine eyes, westward and northward and southward and eastward, and behold it with thine eyes, for thou shalt not go over this Jordan. But charge Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him, for he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. So he abode, so we abode in the valley over against Bethpah. Amen. This is a wonderful lesson. Uh, this morning we have speaking to us on keeping each other encouraged in what we we'll have to do for the Lord and to help them to go forward. I'm going to read you a passage from our Matthew Henry commentary. It said, Moses encouraged Joshua, who was to succeed him. Thus the, the age and experience in the service of God should do all they can to strengthen the hands of those who are young and setting out in religion. Consider what God has done, what God has promised. If God be for us, who can be against us? So as to prevail, we reproach our leader if we follow him trembling. Moses prayed that if it were God's will, he might do to go before Israel over Jordan to Canaan. We should never allow any desires in our hearts which we cannot in faith offer up to God by prayer. God's answer to this prayer had a mix, mixture of mercy and judgment. God sees it good to deny many things we desire. He may accept our prayers, yet not grant us the very things we pray for. It, if, it God, if God does not, by His providence, give us what we desire, yet if by His grace He makes us content without, it comes to much the same. Let us suffice thee to have God for thy Father and heaven for thy portion. Thou, thou hast not everything thou wouldest have in the world. God promised Moses a sight of Canaan from the top of Pixar. Though he should not have the possession of it, he should have the prospect of it. Even great believers in this present state see heaven but at a distance. God provided him a successor. It is a comfort to the friends of the Church of Christ to see God's work likely to be carried on by others when they are silent in the in the dust. And if we have the earnest and prospect of heaven, let these suffice us. Let us submit to the Lord's will and speak no more to him of matters which he sees good to refuse us. Amen. This is a wonderful and powerful lesson we have this morning. I pray that you meditate on this lesson today and y'all have a blessed day.